We were all waiting for you. I'm sorry, Auntie. I had to help my mom hang the laundry. What could be so terrible about that? I don't know why we just don't use the dryer. The sun does a better job. Drying clothes with the sun takes a long time, and I have lots of things to do besides laundry. Like? Like surf, watch TV, play with my cousins, surf, oh, and come visit you, Auntie. That's better than doing chores for my mom. Ah, well, just so happens the story I was about to share is about a boy helping his mother with her chores. Are you trying to put us to sleep? It doesn't sound like much of a story. Ugh. Oh, but it's very exciting. This young man accomplished a marvelous thing to help his mother and the whole community. It was a daring feat of strength, more amazing than any of your comic book superheroes. No way! You see, a long time ago, the days were very short because the sun, Kala, raced across the sky as he pleased. <laughs> short? Like how short? Ah. There were just a few hours of daylight before the lazy moon crept slowly across the darkness. There was only a little day and a very long night. At that time of the short days and long dark nights, there was a beautiful woman named Hina who lived on the island of Hawaii in a cave behind Rainbow Falls. Hina was known for the fine cup of cloth she made from the bark of wauke and mamaki trees. Hina's handiwork was prized in the community for making kihei, malo for the men, and pa'u for the women. But because Kala raced through the sky, refusing to share his light and warmth, Hina didn't have enough time in the day to dry her kappa. That's like when my mom says my dad's pants won't dry in time for him to wear to work. Yes. Oh, look, he has other pants. Aye, <laughs> I should say so. Now, the son's behavior wasn't just a problem for Hina. Fishermen didn't have enough time in the day to catch enough to feed their families. Farmers' crops couldn't grow without sunlight, and fruit wouldn't ripen on the trees. Everyone was suffering. Hina had four sons, and the youngest was named Maui. He was a clever boy, quick and strong. Hina knew her youngest child was special, but Maui was only beginning to suspect he was capable of many wondrous things. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Mama, your beautiful kappa is ruined. All your effort is just wasted. Not wasted, Maui. See, this can be used, and the pattern will be lovely when it dries. If it dries? There aren't enough hours in the day for you to do your best work or for anyone else to do all they're able to do. What choice do we have, Maui? This is how it's always been. No one can slow the path of the sun. Has anyone ever tried? No one's ever been brave enough. But Kala must do his work so that we can do ours. It isn't right. 
Maybe someday, when you're older, you'll be the one. If I wait until I'm older, I'll watch you struggling all those years. I must go to Halakala. And how will you persuade the sun to change what it has always done? You would need to capture Kala just to get him to listen to you. Capture? Maui, here, take these with you. A stone adze and a rope of coconut fibers? <laughs> what will I need these for? When the time comes, you'll know. They won't fail you. That doesn't seem enough for what I might need to do. You'll find these are special. Like you, they have powers beyond the ordinary. Halakala is far from our home. I must get there without Kala suspecting anything. I need wings to transport me. Maui the rooster flew from his mother's home in Hilo across Hawaii Island, then over the Alenui Ha Ha Channel to the island of Maui, going as fast as he could while there was still daylight left. <laughs> Flap those wings, chicken. You'll never find land in the dark. <laughs> climb all the way up there? I don't have the energy to make it. Maui started up the rough and steep slopes of the great mountain Haleakala. It was a long, cold, and difficult journey. He was weary, and doubt slowly started creeping into his mind. Many times he thought about turning back and leaving things the way they were. But the thought of his mother and her hard work pushed him through the night. He realized that there was no turning back. He had to make things pono. He had to confront the mighty Kala. so smug while the whole world waits for his light? Wake up, Kala! Time to go to work. by my rules except that Pakike rooster. So rude! How dare he tell me when to get up! Now, do it now. Hmm. Is that you, chicken? Stop clucking and leave my domain. No one enters the house of the sun. Now! No rope can ever bind Kala. My rope won't burn and it won't break. You are trapped, Kala. 
and I won't let you go until you promise to move slower across the sky. No one tells Kala what to do. I am Kala! causing the world much pain by cheating us out of daylight. People cry wanting to do their work. Let me go. If you destroy me, darkness will rule the world. Darkness already rules the world, not you. Our lives are long nights and brief days. If you move more slowly across the sky, you would mark the passage of time. Remember your name, Kala, also means day. If you slowed your great journey, the people would honor you, and your name will be even greater than it is now. Hmm. Kala, the world will give you their gratitude and aloha for your warmth and your light, but you have to promise to slow your passage across the sky. My name would be even greater than it is now. Hmm. I'm not just the sun, I'm also the day. Honor and... And aloha. And aloha. Boy, let me go. You have to promise. Promise! I promise. Maui, son of Hina, I do understand that without me, nothing in the world could survive. And so I will do the work that is mine alone to do. You're very important, Kala. The whole world relies on you. Mai ka'i. Mai ka'i no. Maui and Kala had a long talk. 
about community and responsibility and the great honor in doing one's work properly. They agreed that during the summertime, Kala would travel more slowly across the sky to help the people of the world, but that he could make his daily journey faster during the winter months so that he and everyone else could have more sleep. Is that real or is that just a legend? It is real, Ikaika. The daylight is shorter in winter months. So then Kala did what he said he was going to do? Yes, Kala kept his promise. Soon crops were flourishing as they never have before. People had enough daylight hours to do their work and everyone enjoyed health and abundance. A great relief after all that suffering. What about Maui's mom? Hina was finally able to dry her cuppa properly which meant that the cloth was even more refined and able to hold rich colors and intricate patterns. She made Maui special cup of clothing, the most beautiful anyone had ever seen in all of Hawaii. <laughs> And then what? That's it. Molly takes on the sun and wins? And then what? He goes into retirement. I mean, how are you supposed to top that? Maui had many other great adventures, but this was probably his bravest deed, especially since he was a young man at the time. Like how old? A little bit older than you, Ikaika. Oh. Maui distinguished himself as a great hero and a brave man by... Capturing the sun by helping his mother with her laundry. <laughs> but you see, everyone has responsibilities. Kala's kuliana was to bring light and warmth to all the living things so the world could grow and thrive. He quickly learned to care about every plant and animal and person in the world. Because of this, he became quite proud of his work and did it the best he could. He did it with honor and Aloha. Well, I suppose it's time for- I know, I know. You're gonna tell me it's time to go home and hang my laundry, right? Uh, all right, Auntie. Too late to hang laundry. Kala is going down. It's time for dinner, and I smell something Ono cooking on the fire. <laughs> Kala. Thanks. See you tomorrow. My poina, don't forget. And if you don't show up, but ciao. My mom has plenty of laundry I have to hang, and my dad keeps rope in the back of his truck. <laughs> and I know where you live. <laughs>